What style will it be? Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I'm Rieta and today we will make a tiny house out of the next letter of the alphabet. Dr. Ashley inspired me to do a series like this, but I have my own approach. This is our alphabet island, where we collect all the letter houses. If you are new here, the goal is to make a house in the shape of every letter and decorate them in a style that starts with that specific letter. I built every one of them on the smallest lot in Newcrest first. This will be the layout. And I'll start with turning it this way. It's allowed to do based on the rules I follow. I just have to preserve the walls that make the letter and decided to keep the roof flat so it can be read from above. In the previous videos I asked you to share your suggestions, what styles would you like to see for this shape and one of my lovely subscribers suggested coastal design. But since I have a similar style on my mind for a different letter, we will do something less common today. We will stay close to nature, but in a slightly different environment, which will impact the whole aura of this place. Can you guess the style? You probably guessed right. When doing my research, I came across the word camp core. It's similar to cabin core and it revolves around camping, hiking, fishing. The house needs to be in the woods, surrounded with pine trees and forest plants, a stream and rocks. It should have a tent and a campfire to toast marshmallows and a lot of wood. The house will have to have inside area too and all the things that make it functional in the game. So I start with that. I have to use the same wallpaper so it looks like made of actual wood and the floors are no exception. I don't want it to be totally closed off. Small cabins usually don't have a dedicated bedroom. The beds used to be next to the stove. The house wrench back counters come handy. They look like something you could find in the kitchen in the middle of a forest. If we want to stay realistic, this house should be functional off the grid, so I will pick appliances that support that idea. I'm looking for some snacks, and these baskets look like they could be not just for laundry, but also harvesting fruit or mushrooms. We have enough space to put two single beds here, and I want them to look like something from a tent or some foldable ones. I'm gonna use a lot of little campers accessories, obviously. And I would love to have a fireplace between the beds to keep the campers warm in any weather. We don't have that much space, so a single tie one will save us. It doesn't have to be something fancy. I imagine that since kids love camping, at least how I remember from my childhood, they should have at least Bigfoot here. I've never camped as a child myself, if you don't count playing in a tent in our garden throughout the day, but it sounded fun for the child me. Quick bathroom, and we can work on the so-called living area. It will be a covered outside area, as you can see, filled with typical camping furniture. And we need a cooler to store packed food, some essentials in a box, and I decided to place down a nectar making machine. I know, I know. I used it in the previous video too, but I couldn't resist. It was a business item there to maintain luxury and it's for relaxation only this time. And I'm sorry, but I like the decorative tent the most. Landscaping plays an important role in this theme and some of you may want to see how I do it, so I will walk you through my steps briefly. We established that we need a stream here and to do that I first need to lower the terrain, then fill it with water. Smooth it out, don't worry if you can't get it right the first time. Add the trees. some rocks to the edge of the river, yes, one by one, but it makes a huge difference. And now we can add the base from low-lying plants, fern in this case, bigger, smaller, closer, further, turn them sometimes, until it's kind of everywhere. And I want to add some flower shrubs here and there, something that has color, 
I always just add it where it looks empty. I want to make it look rich but believable. Always have the environment in your mind to make realistic landscapes. I hope I managed to do it. Here's the result. We can stargaze, have our bird friends, sit on this big mushroom. I want to show you the inside. I almost forget to paint the ceiling, but it wouldn't be complete without it. Our little kitchen with big knives, the big food. We have our hiking gear on the wall. Anyway, I didn't put any curtains here on purpose. And no rugs either. Mm, I don't know. I guess if you want some, you can still download it from the gallery and uh, put it in your game and change anything you want. Here's the living area. Some ketchup on the table. A guitar to play next to the fire. We will quickly check the bathroom. It all functions off the grid. And we can admire the view. I know we have the city here, but there's our forest. And in live mode, you can see that we have mosquitoes and dragonflies. And uh, you can fish in this stream. I hope that this little house uh, met your expectations because it exceeded mine. I would totally try to spend the night here if it was in the woods. So here we are. As I said, you can download this from the gallery. My ID is Rieta R. And if you have some suggestions for letters D and E, I will gladly take them in the comments. The C build is completed. I'm looking forward to seeing your comments and likes, it helps me keep going. Next time we will start a new series, so I suggest subscribing to stay updated. Thank you for hanging out with me, take care, and as always, be nice and kind to each other. Bye bye!